There are myriad of conspiracy theories about the assassination of President Kennedy. One of the more pervasive has to do with the idea that the mob killed Kennedy. And certainly with um, you know, some recent movies and some other things, you know, this, this idea that Santo Traficante Jr., maybe Carlos Marcelo, maybe Sam Giancana all played a part in it, um, has gained a lot of credence over the years. There was a book, Mob Lawyer, that came out in 94 by Frank Regano, who was Traficante's attorney at the time, who you know, told him flat out that he had Kennedy killed and they made a mistake, they should have killed Robert Kennedy. Um, I interviewed people that recall distinctly seeing Traficante the night of the assassination, toasting the death of Kennedy. Um, there are a lot of ties, direct ties, between Santo Traficante and a number of anti-Cuban activists in South Florida. Uh, of course, there's the whole CIA plots to kill Castro. There's ties between um, Carlos Marcelo and Traficante and Lee Harvey Oswald and then Jack Ruby. So there's this really dense interconnected web and Santo Traficante is at the center of a lot of these, these connections. So. It, you know, I, I think the reason it still fascinates people is I don't think we're ever 100% fully going to know the answer. But I think there's a lot of interest and evidence pointing to Traficante's involvement in some aspects of conspiracies surrounding the killing of Kennedy. Wow. Yeah, so um, a few years ago, there was a book that came out that, that showed that um, Kennedy, a few days before he was in Dallas, was here in Tampa and that there was a thwarted assassination attempt against he, him here in Tampa. The, the person supposedly that was responsible for the killing here in Tampa had ties to the anti-Castro community, which Traficante also had close ties to through his CIA connections. Um, but the, really the big theory that kind of drives this, I think even beyond Cuba, is this concept that when John F. Kennedy was running for president, the mob helped him get elected. Guys like Traficante, Stump, Forum, Marcello, but really Sam Giancana in Chicago, um, you know, was supposedly literally delivered votes for Kennedy. And a lot of this ties back to Joseph Kennedy, the father, and his ties from his days as a bootlegger. So when John F. Kennedy becomes president, he appoints his brother Robert Kennedy as attorney general, and the first thing he does is go after the mafia and organize labor like Hoffa and the Teamsters Union. So the mob kind of sees this as a, as a double cross, as a backstab. So that's, that's kind of the, the motive and genesis behind a lot of these conspiracy theories. The actual machinations run the gamut from Traficante actually providing Cuban hitmen to do the job in Dallas, to Johnny Roselli, who's a mobster with close ties with Traficante, is actually one of the gunmen uh, on the grassy knoll. So, you know, the, the mechanics run the gamut, but Traficante is either A, the organizer, B, the financer, or C, the provider of, of the hired hitmen. Um, again, who knows? <laughs> Are we ever going to know? But, uh, you know, I, I think to me, that's not as interesting as all the geopolitical stuff behind it. And, and the fact that, you know, if, even if you strip away all the conspiracy stuff and just take everything that's like half proven and throw it out, we have here in the early 60s, we have the CIA, the federal government, going to Santo Traficante and giving him money to kill a foreign leader, you know, Fidel Castro. You have absolute corroborating definitive evidence. In fact, I talked to Robert Mayhew, the guy who has set up the meeting and was in the room where you know this plot to kill Castro from the CIA was given to Sam Giancana, Johnny Roselli, and Santo Traficante. So the geopolitical you know, part of it is fascinating that just, you know, in not too long ago our government was pay, you know, paying wise guys to go kill foreign leaders. So it's uh, you know, that, that to me, the whole Cuba, CIA, anti-Castro movement, and, and the ties with the mafia to that, I, th I think are really, really fascinating topic.